Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this. This is the Mercedes AMG GT 63 S Formatic Plus 4 door coupe. And that's the reason why we are having such a long walk because this car's name is super long. Straight away, let's open the engine bay of this vehicle and there you see is the AMG engine which is handcrafted by Dieter Morgel. I don't know if I pronounced that right. But this is the only car, not the only car, but one of the only Mercedes cars which is only having an AMG version. There's no regular version of it. There's insulation right there as well. Engine bay is massive in terms of size because obviously this is a big fat V8 sitting right there. And let's close this for a moment. Now, this is the AMG GT four-door, which is a four-door version of the AMG GT supercar, sports car, whatever you want to call it. But it's actually not based on the AMG GT because this is actually based on the E-Class platform or the CLS platform. In fact, the CLS is no longer available with the 63. So you can say this is the 63 version of the CLS because they look so similar. The interior is almost identical other than the fact that the center console is a bit different. Straight away coming to the multi-beam LED headlights, they look beautiful. And this is the DRL which you now because obviously I've turned on the indicator is using the indicator there but the lights are extremely awesome it's got something known as high beam assist plus which actually adjusts the leds to ensure that oncoming traffic is not blinded now obviously that happens on low beam you see the air vents are massive here in order to do proper breathing of this vehicle yeah that is massive and the design is amazing this is closed right now okay this actually opens when it needs to breathe and shuts in order to improve the aerodynamic efficiency of this vehicle you've got a big mercedes logo Pan Americana grille, you get front parking sensors, there's a front camera as well, there is the camera and uh, there's another Mercedes logo right there. Now the color of this car is blue, this is matte blue, this is an optional color and you see the bulges on the hood, they look absolutely phenomenal. Look at the bulge, super duper awesome. The hood is really very long and this car is actually having a lot of optional kit. Straight away, the wheels are also optional because this design is actually optional. It doesn't come with this design as standard. And this happens to be Michelin rubber running on this car. 265, 40, 20s up front, but at the rear, you've got bigger size tires in spite of the fact that this is actually all-wheel drive. See the size of the disc, that's bigger than the size of the wheels of most of the cars available, at least mass market cars. And obviously, these are carbon ceramic discs. That's the reason why they look so gorgeous and expensive as well. In fact, these are optional extras. They cost up almost, not upwards, almost rupees 10 lakhs. Yeah, but they weigh 40% less as well compared to the regular discs. And you know what? It gets a six piston caliper as well. So braking performance is supreme. AMG written right there. In fact, this is 20 inch. 21 inch wheels are also part of optional equipment. You can decide if you want 21 inches. And there are so many wheel options as well. In fact, you also get the Maybach Thali type wheel designs. Two of them are also available as part of optional kit. Obviously, the rear disc size is smaller, but again, AMG carbon ceramics and the size of the rear tire happens to be a rather massive 295, 35, 20 again. So, as you can see, the tire is massive in terms of size. I'm not even exaggerating. Just look at the size of the wheels. Okay, the tires are so big. It's so big. It's like crazy big. Now, coming to the side, the car obviously looks like a coupe because it is a coupe, which I already told you in the start of the video. So, slanting roof line, coupe design. It's like an E63 coupe version or a CLS with a 63 engine, whatever is a 63 engine. But disappointingly, though, this is fake. Come on, Mercedes, you don't need to do this fake stuff. What is the need of having this fake stuff here? V8 by Turbo 4 Matic Plus. Just to tell you, yes, there is a lot of grunt and there is a camera here. Yeah, obviously, it gets a 60 degree parking camera. You get this carbon fiber finish on top indicator and below here also there's something i don't know exactly what it is called but if you guys can spot it in the night it actually projects amg on the road yeah and on the website they says in order to prepare you for the amg experience when you're approaching the car it gets rear wheel steering wheel you see how the wheels are actually a little bit outside yeah really crazy the car looks absolutely mind-bogglingly phenomenal get chrome door handles but you know they're not completely chrome lower ones are obviously the body color again chrome Get this nice beautiful chrome line as well the car is full of attention to detail in fact you see this gloss black finish on the top and it doesn't get a full-size sunroof it i mean it doesn't get a panoramic roof but still i'm not going to be complaining much because the car looks absolutely mind-bogglingly phenomenal the more i look at it the more i fall in love coming to the rear the good thing is that what's there near the front fender is not happening at the rear because there's no fake stuff here that's a rear diffuser that's a real diffuser as well and it's functional the design is really nice and that's for airflow beautifully done you get 
quad AMG exhaust. Now, obviously, these are exhaust tips because the pipe is actually behind. Can you see the pipe? Yeah, that is the pipe. And this is aesthetic, but still, come on, I'll give it to them because it is not fake. AMG written on the top and looks beautiful. I love the stance of the car. Rear fog lamp and this is obviously the towing hook. Rear parking sensors. Here is the reverse parking camera, which actually comes out when you get into reverse. GT 63S. The tail lights are beautiful. They're slim. They get the dynamic swipe from inside to outside. This swipe, they look absolutely stunning at night. And this might look fake. There are some holes inside. So yeah, it does channel air from the wheel through here. So it's not fake, it's functional. Thank God for that. I would be really disappointed to see a big fat AMG, rather the most powerful Mercedes car to have such fake stuff on it. But hey, that's not the case. This is actually the most powerful Mercedes car ever made. Black series, of course, has to be kept aside for the moment because they are more powerful as well. So you tell me, how do you like the design of the car? Now, this rear spoiler does not move because this is an optional rear spoiler, which is fixed. Yeah, this is a fixed rear spoiler, which is again part of optional kit. And as soon as the sun turns bright, the car looks so mind blowing. I can't believe I've already spent six minutes just doing a walk around of the car from the exterior. Anyways, let's open the boot of the car, which means that it opens from below here. Yeah. That's how it opens and obviously it's a powered one i can obviously open it with the key as well but because the car is right now in on ignition not turned on completely i've just kept it on ignition so that i can show you features inside the car first and foremost there's a light placement here the boot capacity is i think under 400 liters or so but we have a spare wheel eating the complete boot up and uh, there is oh god you can't lift it but there's some storage space below as well this is obviously i think the toolkit of the car you can actually recline the seat by pressing this button. There, I press this button. It did not recline completely, but it's got dislodged from the position here. Yeah, that's how it's done. So it gets a 60-40 split seat as well. Now there are three seating options. We'll talk about that in a bit. 12 volt charging socket is placed here. There's a hook here as well, and uh, yeah, there is some practical bits inside this car, so you can keep your stuff properly. A lot of speakers inside this vehicle, obviously. Press this button and there the boot closes. Look at that light, that is super nice, cool placement as well. Coming to the rear seat, first and foremost, just look at the body line. Just look at it, how it's like expanded. Compared to the E63, this is longer, this is wider and this is lower as well. Yeah, it has a longer wheelbase as well. This is more than five meters in length and almost three meters in terms of wheelbase length. That's massive. Okay, here we go. So door pockets are decent size at the rear. These are obviously the controls for the power windows. Everything feels so nicely done and premium. Love the whole appeal on this car. Okay, let's put this back into place. Now, a little bit of effort goes in there. You know why this thing didn't fall? Because it's a heavy thing. Yeah. It's not actually a 60-40, it's a 40-40 because the 20 in the middle does not move at all. There are actually three seating configurations. One of this is this, the other is the same one, but it doesn't get all this here. It just gets some storage and probably cup holders. And then there's a third one, which is like for three people to sit in here. Here only two people can sit in because obviously, it's two seats, but the seats are nice with AMG badging right there, which actually adds to the power of this car. There are a lot of AMG badges on this car. In fact, there's the AMG logo, which is there in multiple places, which I will show you in a bit. So the good thing is that the doors obviously get the frameless treatment. Now the power window is not coming down, which means that I have to walk around and show that to you. Okay, I don't know why the power window is not coming out. The car is on, but still that did not work. It is not on enough or what? Yeah, now it works. Just opening all the windows to show you guys how the doors look they look so beautiful frameless doors for the win absolutely stunning frameless doors but the problem is there is obviously a big problem first and foremost the front doors are fine because they're frameless they look super cool and super awesome as well but the problem comes when you come to the rear doors because this thing does not go down okay this does not go down so it's like part frameless I mean, it's completely frameless, but doesn't come down completely, which is kind of disappointing. Look at the car with the doors open. Looks purposeful. It might just fly any moment. That's how beautiful it looks. That's how purposeful it looks as well. But this thing should have been addressed. They should have figured something out to even put this down. That doesn't come down. That's kind of disappointing. Let's just put all the windows up for a moment. And that will require me to again get inside and press some buttons. So here we are turning on the car again on ignition. And let's do that as well. Just going to put all the windows up for a moment. Now, of course, this is like the E63's twin, or rather more practical twin. You can open the boot by pressing this button as well. If you press this button there, comes the boot up. Yeah, that's also very handy. And 
we were just rotating around the car not that i don't have much information about it i know everything inside out about this car not being boastful right now but the only issue is that certain things don't work without the car being turned on if i turn on the car the amg engine is going to make a lot of noise more than the noise it's the heat which gets to you because it's so per duper hot this motor literally okay now again we are again with the power window problem but forget that for a moment let's get inside let me tell you straight away that the seats are extremely nice extremely comfortable you see there is almost decent amount of headroom for someone as tall as me in spite of the sloping roof line and of course there is no magazine holder here and a little bit hard plastics of course but nice finish here yeah, there is a tickling function as well so you can tickle the person who is driving driving and co-passenger as well but i don't think you want to sit here because overall knee room and leg room isn't that great a porsche panamera obviously has more space at the rear meanwhile you see these are really cool cup holders you know why because when you press this button they become cool the color changes to blue and if you touch it once it turns red that's for heating so both cooling and heating function in these cup holders at the rear the storage space below here as well and it's not just storage because it's got a 12 volt charging socket as well a usb and actually it's got two usbs and it's also got a 230 watt charging socket that's like crazy that's amazing stuff right there by mercedes benz so many charging options that's wow so rear is very comfortable obviously you've got isofix child seat mounts but it kind of feels hemmed in because of the all black cabin you obviously get a hook here and uh, these are the light placements here as well but everywhere there are speakers so there's a speaker here there's a speaker here there's a speaker there i mean guys load with speakers internationally you also get a sun blind here which has to be manually used but not in the case for the indian version i don't know for what reasons kind of mysterious and these ac vents actually look like turbines they look super cool as well now there is a screen here with which you can operate each and everything in fact you can get to amg performance get engine data engine temperature and what not okay it says switch on rear compartment climate control you can increase and decrease the volume everything is in your control here itself which is kind of cool you can get into vehicle and all those settings ambient lighting and what not that's super cool it's not that there's anything different from what's there in front so we'll just look at the system in the front but you can operate a lot of things sitting at the rear as well look at the dashboard of the car looks super nice sexy luxurious and purposeful too and we need to roam around and get there first but honestly this car is just so well put together build quality material quality everything is just phenomenal obviously all the doors get request sensors you just put your hand in and the doors unlock door pockets are big enough typical mercedes switches made of metal really nice outside rear view mirror control this is obviously the handle to open the door this is for lock this is for unlock and this is obviously for the seat so it gets memory function you can save up to 3 people setting not only for the driver but for the co-driver as well and this is obviously for heating function this is for the cooling function either the ventilated seats and this is to operate the co-driver seat so when you press this button you can actually heat or cool the co-passenger seat as well as move it ahead or behind so here you see i'm actually moving the seat ahead can you see that Yeah how is that done very simple i just press this button here once this is activated i can control the co-passenger seat as well that's super cool so all the function in the hands of the driver which should be the case if it's a driver's car which it is you see the stitching it's beautiful it continues through the dashboard and goes to the other side as well so a lot of symmetry in terms of design and continuity as well amg written here and this amg actually lights up at night as well and you got a proper dead pedal massive brake pedal this is actually the handbrake of the car these are the controls for the headlights and you see the ambient lighting well this car has some crazy ambient lighting one of the best i've ever seen in my life Now talking about the driver's seat well there are plenty of options to control it first and foremost under thigh support is a non issue because you can obviously increase or decrease the under thigh support you can see the seat yeah you press a button you can increase the under thigh support and the seat adjustment happens in a million plus ways plus this is only what i'm using here okay if i get inside and get into the touch uh, sorry not the touch screen if i get into the infotainment system i can do a lot more as well and this is obviously the button for the parking sensors and this is to raise the ride height of the vehicle yeah you can increase the ride height of the vehicle if you so please anyways here inside let me tell you the car looks absolutely stunning some noise is coming obviously the noise is coming from the seat because i've turned on these systems we'll just turn them off for a moment now first and foremost let me tell you that compared to the e63 it's kind of missing some features because gets regular speakers the tweeters don't spin like in the case of the e63 and there's no heads up display here but international models are getting a heads up display i think a lot of stuff is optional because this is optional this is not part of standard equipment okay this is optional anyways let's open the glove box now the glove box is decent sized and there is fragrance as well but obviously the canister is missing in this car at the moment there's a specific fragrance which they have made for this car or either for amg models which is known as the amg 63 fragrance 
विच ऑब्वियसली हैज अ स्पोर्टी स्मेल आई डोंट नो वॉट इज स्पोर्टी स्मेल बट दैट्स वॉट आई रेड सम बे फिक कार्बन फाइबर फिनिशिंग वॉज इन नीडेड एट ऑल ट्विंग कप होल्डर्स देर इज अ ट्वेल्व वोल्ट चार्जिंग सॉकेट एंड दिस इज अ वायरलेस चार्जिंग पैड सो देर इज अ वायरलेस चार्जिंग पैड एंड देर इज अ यू एस बी स्लॉट हेयर एंड सेज एन एफ सी लाइक आई केयर लेट्स क्लोज दिस फॉर द मोमेंट नाउ दिस हैज बीन मेड टू रेप्लीकेट अ वी एट इंजन बैंक ओके द डिजाइन विच इज सिमिलर टू द वन ऑन द एम जी जी टी इनफैक्ट the dashboard is absolutely identical to the cls however this is different because cls does not get this digital touch controls and all now we'll get to the digital touch controls in a moment i need to show you the design how this line which is going it comes to the dashboard carries on and same is the case with the stitching as well you see how the stitching actually goes carries on it's beautifully done brings in a lot of symmetry and style to the car as well you see there's a mic placement here there's a mic placement here as well and here you obviously get a mirror along with a light ironically though okay you know what this is where it connects with the light so when you disconnect this the light will also shut but it's very hard to operate with one hand so i won't be able to do it right now but internationally this thing also extends this model sun visor does not extend but internationally i've seen it does extend that's kind of weird same is the case here as well you get a mirror along with a light as well and automatic light now you see the air vents they're really nice they give you the turbine effect but more important than the turbine effect is the fact that when you actually change temperature the lights also change so if you're increasing the temperature the lights inside the air vents become red and if you decrease the temperature they turn blue and you see there is the piano black finishing behind meanwhile the good thing is that the ambient light system of this car is absolutely phenomenal it is next level ambient okay look at that dog how he's hanging out it's next level ambient light i love it 64 colors looks beautiful the car looks like a freaking disco at night okay for to get into that first we'll get into the menu now you see all the regular bits are there but you have a touch pad to operate this now, it doesn't get mercedes benz's mbux system that's the reason it's a little slow but very good in terms of graphics and there is no touch screen either which is again very disappointing because touch screen is the way forward which obviously mercedes realizes that's why mbux does get touch screen it obviously gets mercedes me connected car tech with which you can obviously geofence the car you can get speed alerts you can obviously turn on the car check fuel level and do all of that and stuff but right now i'm using my phone so i can't show that to you now there is this touch pad which has haptic feedback and there is this beautiful um, you know menu which when you touch it it actually moves on the top look at this okay look at this it is so nice it's so fluid it's beautifully done you don't have to go back to the menu to operate this because you can just touch it like this and reach whichever menu you want so i want to go into cameras right now i'll just press this button here we are into camera are we no not yet what is happening okay we need to turn on the car so here's the engine start stop button there the car rose to life lot of uh, telltale lights there we're going to turn off the air conditioning the air conditioning is off the car is having some vibes right now because that's a weird motor jumping to life auto dimming inside rear view mirror there's no sunglass holder here there is actually a speaker that's right there's the SOS button as well a lot of buttons for lights as well this is obviously to open the sunroof we'll open the sunroof right away you see the sunroof is actually small in terms of size it could have been bigger for sure press it once again to open it further yeah, it's a very small sunroof should have got a bigger sunroof but because of the sloping roof line that wouldn't be possible for sure and uh, the colors and everything can be obviously configured because right now you see it's getting this fake carbon fiber finish you can choose what you want you can choose brown you can choose black you can choose whatever so plenty of options in terms of configuring your mercedes amg car and it gets alcantara finish right there which is also amazing and beautiful look at the paddles the paddles look really nice super awesome as well the only thing is because it's an amg it gets a proper gear lever so there's no stock on the right side the stock happens to be on the left side for obviously the wipers and the indicators as well so let's use the wipers right away you see it does a lot of spray and cleans the windscreen in no time at all wipers were brilliant well obviously it gets automatic wipers this is obviously to move the steering wheel up or down or ahead or behind it gets reach and rake adjustment naturally it gets cruise control functions on the steering wheel and these are the controls to operate that multi information display rather for the instrument cluster because the instrument cluster itself is loaded with so many things this is actually to operate the screen which you can also operate using the touch pad which i was just showing you now both the screens have a size of 12.3 inches yeah they look like one piece but they are two 12.3 inch screens very nice fluid and amazing to use as well quality levels are fab inside this car everything feels nice and well put together plenty of leather this gets really good contoured seats you see the seats are super supportive as well that amg cap actually adds more power to the car in fact the seats are super comfortable thanks to the use of napa leather in this particular car i believe the storage space here as well and it's not just storage you've got charging options as well not charging option actually yeah two usb ports and a sd card holder as well it's a cool glove box it's kind of cool on the inside at the moment this is the gear lever with the amg logo on top of it but in order to get to parking you have to press this button which is a little weird position somehow and uh, 
meanwhile like i told you the handbrake is down there which is again a weird position for the handbrake now they have got these eight touch buttons so this is obviously for the drive mode selector you can just decide what drive mode you want and you can do it using this switch it's a nice touch operated system because this is obviously not touch operated neither is this this is for the volume control when you increase the volume you see how it increases and decreases that's again super nice so the top buttons are actually having buttons and not touch others have a touch so this is a touch so if i press this button then i can get into manual mode then i can get into normal drive mode and i can configure the gearbox using this button and with this i can configure the suspension so comfort sport or sport plus meanwhile this is for traction control yeah traction control goes into sport and keeping this pressed it turns off traction control as well yeah their traction control is off now what you're going to do is we are going to try and get into drift mode which means that i have to hold on to the pedals and it says drift mode currently unavailable see owner's manual which is kind of disappointing i'm so sad today anyways right here is the engine start stop button press this to turn off stop start and this is for the active exhaust so you know you can turn on the exhaust as well into the louder setting too now there is a dummy button here this dummy button is actually for the rear spoiler this car gets a fixed spoiler which is an optional one otherwise for the car which gets a regular spoiler the standard equipment you can actually move the angle of the spoiler and retract it back completely so this is the dummy button here that's why there is no button here on this car at the moment Oh, that was a lot of sweat inside this car is so freaking hot meanwhile like i was telling you it says amg right there there are controls here as well this is again very nice so you can obviously get into various modes here's turned around very posher like and if i press it in the center it gets into individual mode immediately that's again very coolly done actually this is optional and cost a little bit of money as well now here you can directly configure what you want so traction control i can turn on and off on the steering wheel itself meanwhile this is for the gearbox again i can configure it from the steering wheel itself but remember one thing i can change what i want to see here if i press this button i get into engine start stop then i can just decide what i want amg dynamics is actually for the traction control also they call it i don't know why traction control too meanwhile this is for the suspension and this is obviously for the exhaust system you can decide what you want to see here which is actually configuring how you want the modes to be finally mercedes has caught up with bmw m because bmw's m cars do have that m mode m1 and m2 you can just click on that like sort of a place here button there and decide how you want the various configurations to happen obviously you configure everything inside the infotainment system now the infotainment system itself is very nice in terms of graphics now we're going to use it which means that i have to struggle a bit with the touchpad because i'm not so used to it you can get into seats you can decide driver seat you can decide passenger seat and in driver seat as well there are a lot of options like i love the side bolsters because when you use them they actually move like crazy and i can feel it right now what you're going to do is we're going to use the passenger seat side bolster so i can actually show you them in motion very nice system in terms of the seat controls and angles you just have a million plus options that's not all in climate control as well there is something known as air freshener because i told you about the air freshener earlier on but it says please switch on the air conditioning in order to put the air freshener of course i will even turning on the air conditioning won't help because it says please insert the perfume vial i don't know why all the test cars have the perfume vial missing anyways you have ionization rear air conditioning all those options are obviously there in the screen but dynamic select is the coolest feature in this car because you can see engine data and that's not all when you change the modes the data color also changes like the instrument cluster so we are in sport right now now i change it into sport plus you see how it actually changes and shows you something very nice and fluid actually it was already in sport sport and sport plus show the same thing comfort show something little different it takes some time to load the system is a little slow today i don't know it's gone for a vacation or something let me just get back what are we doing okay let's just get out of this feature at the moment let's get into vehicle data that will be more interesting i think this is where it actually shows different colors no it's just showing you what is the tire temperature as well as the tire pressure and how much accelerator brake you're pressing so here oh my god the car is really loud and when you turn the steering it shows you that as well which is super cool now this is actually showing you the ground clearance which can be altered with the press of a button so it's rising right now it says vehicle rising so you can increase or decrease the ground clearance and anyways there's no issue at all when going over speed hump because this car has decent amount of ground clearance now it's taking its own sweet time to do it you see the change in temperature is also happening but forget that for a moment let's come behind and the graphics are really slick dynamic data is super cool as well because it shows you exactly how much power and torque you are consuming in real time and how much boost is also there so yeah there you see but it's in kw not in hp there is a g force meter here as well now all this is usual mercedes affair which you have seen in a lot of mercedes benz cars is nothing new but track pace is again something which you have seen earlier but it's amazing because you can actually go to a track and you can decide if you're having a race or a drag race and get a lot of telemetry in fact it gives you a countdown as well so i'm just going to select drag race right now we're going to race squad a mile okay and manual start so we are just going to select 1/4 mile that's selected and we start right now 
टू वन गो and then it actually mm-hmm. starts the time and when you cross the quarter mile it will tell you what was your timing like that's super cool and super fun as well this car needs to go to the track because all this including braking history acceleration quarter mile and what not is there here itself telemetry track race track race is basically a lap timer you can time yourself on a track as well so all this is little gimmicky anyways you see this system is really nice fluid and works brilliantly well only thing is could have been a little faster i am just waiting for mbux to come to this car as well and then i can just say hey mercedes and it's going to help me with a ton of things now assistance system is really nice on this car rather are really actually is really nice because it has got active brake assist where i can decide if i want brake warning early late or medium here you see when i'm changing it it's showing me i can turn it off as well it's late or early basically what it does it shows me a triangle here telling me there's something ahead and then it can automatically apply brakes as well so lot of interesting systems attention assist and what not consumption basically how much fuel you're consuming climate control what not somehow it doesn't get massaging seats which is kind of weird because i need a massage at the moment with massaging seats there's also something known as energizing comfort which gives you a full lecture on how you can get a better posture into yoga and meditation in the car which i've shown you guys with the s63 amg you can just click somewhere here to see that Coming to the instrument cluster, it's a very nice looking unit. There are certain changes which have been done here. First and foremost, let's get behind. Okay, now you see this is a trackpad and very fluid to use. Whatever you can do on the infotainment system, you can do here as well. All the data is available here too. So get into service, it will tell you exactly tire pressure monitoring, assist plus, and what not. What is the level of fluid in the car? But right now we will just get into assistance for a moment. So attention assist is on. System is suspended because I'm so alert right now. It's like oh god, I cannot monitor you. AMG performance is cool because it actually shows you what is the boost level and what are the modes of the various factors in the car okay like i was showing you earlier when i change stuff so when i'm changing these modes using this button or using this button as well you let's use this at the moment you see right now it's in race mode okay when i get into comfort mode just notice one thing okay just notice that how traction control has been renamed somehow right now okay so amg dynamics seems to be the traction control actually traction control button is here but overall dynamics it's saying basic because i'm in comfort mode now if i get it into sport mode it says advanced okay amg dynamics becomes advanced in sport mode and if i change into sport plus it actually changes to pro now what if i do is keep this button pressed traction control will turn off one you press it obviously it gets sport handling mode second time you keep it pressed it turns off traction control and as soon as traction control is turned off guess what happens amg dynamics says that you are not pro basic or advanced you have all of a sudden become master yeah it's calling me master because i've turned off the traction control well that's suicidal because once you turn off traction control and get into drift mode it becomes rear wheel drive only so all this is obviously usual affair which you seen with a lot of mercedes cars trip meter navigation navigation is also super cool you can enter your destination and what not but main, the main thing which i want to show you right now is design okay now it's got something known as super sport earlier it was progressive now it's become super sport this is how the instrument cluster looks in super sport it looks really nice and i can actually browse to the right side and i can change stuff like obviously if i want to see boost i want to see amg performance tire pressure monitor what is the exact telemetry of the car i know it's saying 3 km per liter 2 and 3 km is the distance to empty all that information which you would expect from a mercedes car including a beautiful navigation system which is showing where i'm parked right now and you can actually change it on the both the sides which is super cool so what you're going to do is we're going to change the meters okay we are in sport back again or classic classic looks really nice you see tachometer is gone i can get the tachometer back i can browse through this this is one of the most advanced instrument clusters i have seen this is a regular tachometer i press it once again once again i have to come to right and this is actually a g-force meter inside the tachometer it's such a beautiful system in fact this is telling me the boost as well as power and torque consumption it's going to create a lot of confusion when i'm going to be driving this car to do the vlog because i don't know what should i keep it on should i keep it on super sport should i keep it on sport super sport is actually pretty nice as well and uh, coming to the left side actually i can just come to the left side and i can decide how i want to see stuff so beautiful system really nice really fluid there's a fuel meter down there and it has so much information sometimes it's like an information overload but the problem is that this car is uh, the speed alert system in this car is one of the worst i've ever seen in my life because when you go above 80 km per hour and if you're playing music it pauses the music and it plays the alarm over it and same thing it does after 120 also it's super irritating one of the worst done by mercedes benz many manufacturers have put speed alert, i mean every manufacturer has done speed alert system but the one by mercedes benz is not that impressive it's so disturbing and distracting not serving the purpose at all anyways now this infotainment system which i already showed you is very nice and fluid obviously it's got plenty of features really create ambient lighting 64 ambient light colors which ironically i did not show it to you so i'll just do that again so here we are into vehicle and when i go down here into light settings there is the ambient lighting 
lot of ambient light colors you can choose multiple colors zones what not beautiful amazing the way mercedes has done the colors on this car rather the ambient light is something every brand should take notice and learn from that's how brilliant it is now there are two audio system options i believe in fact there are three air conditioning options as well yeah that's kind of weird could you ever think of climate control having three ways of lower speed well it does because there's something known as climate mode now i obviously have to turn on the air conditioning for me to use that okay focus medium and diffuse these are the three modes and for the audio system there are two options i think the standard one happens to have 14 speakers and a 10 channel amplifier along with 640 watts output and then the optional 3d surround sound system from bermester has 25 speakers and 25 channel amplifier with around 1600 or 1500 uh, sorry 1450 watt output that's absolutely crazy let's do one thing let's play an audio right away which means pressing radio here we are in radio right now <laughs> audio quality is absolutely brilliant but unfortunately on the steering wheel now you don't have forward or backward track button so if you want to move to a next track you don't have it on the steering wheel but they have put this forward button here now if i press this forward button just look at it okay it's not forwarding it is telling me to swipe down or swipe up so i can go forward and back so this button actually is both for forward as well as backward which is nice and neatly done as well This car gets the lounge package at the rear which I already showed you which is basically these two seats which are very sporty and comfortable as well. Now the main thing here is of course the cameras which I did not talk about so we'll get into reverse. Okay this is the reverse parking camera. It obviously gets a 360 degree parking camera with adaptive guidelines and it has got self park as well. We just get into park right now so the camera goes. Now I can press this button here and turn on the camera as well. It says active parking assist currently unavailable. Basically, it is going to do self park, but right now it's not available. But we we'll still see the cameras. That's the front camera. That's another view for the front camera. That's the side cameras, and this is the rear camera too. Multiple views for every camera. The cameras are beautiful on this car. So fluid, so nice, and so amazing as well. Now this is obviously the parking sensor, which is a 360 degree parking sensor on this car. This car is just loaded with a crazy number of features. But how is it to drive? Well, let's get going.